What's going on, Bishalong Gamers? It is Spencer, and today we're going to be going over why your favorite map in Call of Duty Zombies sucks. Let's get into it. Origins is arguably one of the best maps of all times in COD Zombies, but arguably it also has some of the worst features. The generator system is something innovative, but after a while it got really annoying, especially since you have six of them. It gets really annoying also when you have to do this six times and they could break down, and they could take a very long time just to measly start up, and you could die, especially on the higher rounds trying to boot these things back up now some people may like the innovative feel a little bit more and i'm not a big fan of the just flip on power switch but after a while especially playing for years and years it gets a little tedious just trying to keep on power the robots can absolutely just destroy you and your game if you're not careful not necessarily just about the fire staff but getting some of the pieces after some time gets really annoying especially like the tank steps with the lightning staff it kind of feels like an intentional fork in the road the boss on this map, the Panzer, I love. Do not get me wrong, he can be a challenging, fun addition to the gameplay, but when you're constantly dealing with him exactly on round eight when you have nothing, even if you have a good setup in, you know, in terms of round eight, he can still get you pretty good, and he can just absolutely melt your game away and just delay your progression by so much if you're not careful. It gets really annoying, especially when he grapples you as well. It doesn't help either that his flamethrower is like eight feet long in terms of range and could just melt you away. Another thing is the Maxis drone, and let me tell you something more useful than this. I can't, okay? It is very, very bad. It's only used for the Easter egg, and not very useful. The mound area also, on the other hand, is just a very crowded area that you could get yourself killed very quickly. I mean, if you're not past this area on round 20 like you're done upgrading you're gonna die i mean i'm literally red screen as we speak and the whole spawning area in this area is very cramped and crowded and very bad just in general so make sure you get all your stuff done beforehand or you will most likely die down here another issue i have is also the tunnels i mean it's not necessarily the tunnels themselves they're crowded sure but it's the it's the whole issue just with the gramophones you see if you place it and you don't pick it up you lose it okay and that the problem itself is it's just that okay it is just something that could have been fixed easily by just having it simply in your inventory but you had to constantly pick it up over and over and over which really it it just delays the game progression because if you just say you place it at you know gen one or two and you got to go to gen six you got to run all the way back and then all the way forth and you probably got to run to the mound and this that and the other it gets really tedious after a while and that's my problem with origins Shadows of Evil is an amazing map, and it is my favorite, personally, and some of you may know that, and it is yours as well. I mean, this map is absolutely amazing, but what's not amazing is the beast form. After a while, this gets really tedious and very annoying. I mean, just constantly doing this for like, I don't know, 20 times gets really really irritating and repetitive the whole ritual system i do like pack a punch but man does this get really repetitive sometimes i mean it kind of takes away from the gameplay when you do it like twenty thousand times and it doesn't help that you gotta do this every single match because well you need pack a punch another issue i kind of have with this is the margwa i think it's a little annoying sometimes just to constantly have to kill him over and over it does increase the amount of points you have but having to kill him and you know resetting your game sometimes because not everyone's perfect it gets a little irritating the pack a punch ritual i've done this 20 billion times and if you know if you're a player of shadow of evil like me it gets a little irritating not just having to immediately get pack a punch like most other maps it's fun i like it but yeah the tram is probably one of the least useful modes of transportation solely because well you gotta go out of your way to use it and also you only go to some certain districts and you can't go to the others it's slow and you could also trap a marg one there and possibly die from it the pack a bunch area could have done a redo i mean the whole wall running system is cool but when you fall off and die and lose everything it's a pretty feels bad moment the apothecan sword i think all of us love it but man oh man i don't know why but i just prefer the og version if it was increased damage and in, instead of just having it passively around i think it would have played a little bit better it's more useful for the high rounds but man this one is just so much fun to play with i absolutely love it when you play shadows vehicle constantly over and over you kind of notice the tedious things in the beginning but once you get into the higher rounds and you got everything set up everything's usually good i just have a problem with its lower rounds to be fair all of the dead is argued to be one of the best maps as well and this is a good map but don't get me wrong there are plenty of flaws starting off with the afterlife mode this was one of the modes that was fairly introduced very well and you know you just do a couple little things but this follows the problem with beast mode after a while you use this it's good but 
you know, using it for a tool, it's very it, tedious. I believe that this was just wholly introduced just mainly because of the plane parts. There are five to collect, which after all gets really annoying, especially when you have to do this every single match going around the map and spending every single point you have. The other issue I have is the whole dog head system. I think it is cool how the Hell's Retriever works and how you could get it to get points and whatnot, but filling these up is just a pain in my butt. I mean, just constantly having to do this over and over and over, and not even just that. It's just the simple fact you have to fill them up solely one by one. I believe Outbreak did this a lot better, and also Black Ops 4. I mean, it's just kind of sad to say that those outperformed that in Mob of the Dead. It's just really irritating to have to constantly sit here and just spray them and just kind of loop around in circles and circles and circles. It gets really irritating, especially when the reward's so good. You know it's worth it, but it's like, man, I gotta drag myself through that. I love the aesthetic and what they were trying to go for truly with Alcatraz. I thought it was a really unique idea, something we haven't seen before, but this is an extremely crammed map. I mean, not even just about this dog head alone. I mean, the upper area and also some of the bottom area is extremely crammed where it's really hard to move and makes electric cherry essential just to kind of slip through and maybe not die half the time when you're trying to navigate. I think it's really irritating how you constantly have to be on your toes and just hug the wall. It gets really annoying half the time when you just got to do that every single match just to not die, especially because of lack of weapons and some of the others. I mean, just with this alone, I mean, I'm so crammed to the point where afterlife won't even save me i can sit here and just shoot them and shoot them and spray them and electrocute them this that or the other and no matter what i do i just have to die there's nothing i could do about it i'm going to be stuck just because how crammed it is i mean that doesn't even just come with its own problems i mean the whole rooftop area is extremely crammed as well and you have to just build the plane directly next to the door when there could be just hundreds of zombies just if not chasing you because the high rounds on this map get extremely crammed especially on the rooftop areas like that and that doesn't just bring alone this comes back to brutus i mean he's a fairly good boss but he gets really annoying when he breaks down areas such as the perks box and also others just to easily just stop you make you pay out of pocket like a thousand single times but that is going to about wrap it up if you did enjoy make sure you leave a like and subscribe i'm sorry if i didn't get your favorite map it's kind of impossible to get everybody's favorite map but i just kind of assume the top three because well these are the superior maps obviously and if you guys you know like it so much and this that and the other i'll do another series so uh yeah make sure you leave a like and subscribe all the cool nonsense but i'll see you guys next one hope you have a wonderful day see ya